Namaskaram, on this uh, 72nd Republic Day, after 71 years of great struggles, many developments, tremendous enhancement of this nation on all levels has happened. Well, we could always do better, there are still many things uh, unattended, still there is malnourishment, still there is poverty, still we have many problems, but we have come a long way in these seventy-one years. Every one of them who have contributed to this, the previous generation and this generation and every political party, all the bureaucrats, all the officers who work for the government and the business uh, in the country, the industry and young people who at many times have stood up and changed the direction of the country, to all of them, my congratulations and best wishes. Every one of us have strived in our own way. There have been confusions, there have been conflicts, but this nation, after the British departed, well, we are a nation as a constitutional nation, as a republic, we are seventy-one years old. But as a cultural nation, we've been here for thousands of years. Without argument, we are definitely the oldest nation on the planet, but as a nation, we came together not because of sameness of religion or sameness of language or race as most nations are made, we came together as the most diverse form. Those who look at us from outside think uh, we are an impossible chaos. But our chaos is like, if you compare a manicured garden with a forest. Those who lived in manicured gardens will feel lost in a forest. But if you don't tend to the manicured garden for a month, it will be no garden at all. But forests have been there for millions of years. So what looks like chaos on the surface is a very resilient organization of its own. Above all, as a nation, we have been always a land of seekers, not a land of believers. Seekers means we have invested in our ignorance. Understanding the intelligence of ignorance is very important. In this living cosmos, what we know is a very puny little thing. What we do not know or our ignorance is of boundless nature, our ignorance is really boundless. So, we have always invested in this, that is why this is a land of seekers. This has been our strength, we have never been a very organized process, but individual genius always unfolded in this country because we did not believe anything, we were always seekers. This is understanding the intelligence of ignorance, understanding that the phenomena of life is always on full fire, if you are in a seeking mode, if you come to a believing mode, you settle down. But when you are in a seeking mode, you are continuously on fire. So this fire we have exhibited for thousands of years, we should not lose this fire because this is where our growth is, this is where our future is. We must bring this land to the greatness that it has always enjoyed through millennia. So it's time to do that. I beseech every one of you, young or old, to take up this much, whatever you're doing from today onwards, whatever you're doing, what I am doing right now, is it good for this nation or not good for this nation? Please keep that in your mind. With this one thought, I am sure we as a nation, as the Bhavya Bharat that it has always been, once again it can manifest in the next few years on this Republic Day. Let us take this commitment once again, we will make this into a Bhavya Bharat. <laughs>